Hello everyone, and welcome back to the Random Pets Laboratory Challenge! And we are once again descending into the deep jungles of South America in search of the gorgeous spotty rosettes of the jaguar. Because you guys have been having so much fun with our beautiful spotty jaguar cubs, whatever their crossbreed in inheritance may be. And we have been having so much fun with our Planet Zoo Jungle Expedition, where we do have some beautiful jaguar cubs being born, growing up, and living out their lives in our gorgeous ancient city that we are excavating, that I decided let's dive back in and see even more jaguar crossbreeds here in the laboratory. And today we are actually going to have a lot of barking happening in a very small package because so many of you guys suggested this idea. I can't believe I didn't think of it before, but we absolutely have to have a couple Central and South American natives go ahead and meet with the jaguar crossbreeding with a chihuahua. Yes, a chihuahua. <laughs> And I have no idea what this is going to look like, but it has been a long time since we have actually had Chihuahua crossbreeds, which is quite the pity if you think about it, because clearly there are many elements of a Chihuahua that would look very interesting if you mixed and matched their genes with other species. So let this only spark the beginning of a whole new line of our genetic experiments, my friends, because I'm sure you guys have some fantastic suggestions for what other things we could crossbreed, not only with the jaguar, but the noble chihuahua, of which my grandma actually had a couple that she really loved, Ippo, uh, Ippo and Ippi, and she loved them so much that I, I did learn that they can do more than just bark. There is quite a bit to a chihuahua that you can actually like, like their gigantic heads and little eyes and tiny itty bitty little feet and we're gonna have to see how all of those traits end up mixing with the lovely Mariah the Jaguar and Mariah here is a Jaguar who has actually been living a little bit of a risky life unlike the other Jaguars that we have seen in our crossbreed experiment so far Mariah doesn't live in the depths of the jungle. She is not as wild as she should be. She actually lives very quietly and silently in the shadows along a city. So Mariah has had a lot of her ancient family's habitat lost to an encroaching city, and she has had to adapt to the humans who have come to her realm. And one of the things that she does to adapt is she likes to walk along the walls built in between the houses of the city and drop down into the courtyards of the homes of the people who live there. She often can find quite a few scraps, a few interesting things to eat when she's roaming around, particularly gigantic rats happen to be one of her favorite things. And one night as she roams across the city, climbing stealthily across those little walls, she drops down into a garden, heads over to uh, eat another one of those large rats that she likes, and lo and behold, she meets Spark, who is actually not a rat, he is a chihuahua, and he has a lot to say about, you know, her attempt of eating him. And after quite a bit of barking, uh, and quite a bit of running around the beautiful garden that happens to be Spark's backyard, they end up crashing through the trellises of flowers and plants, petals flying everywhere, sparks glittering off of the moonlight as they crash through the fountain, and finally, as they slow down, with Spark sassing her out with as much barking as he can do, something, something sparks between them. And Mariah ends up deciding not to eat him. You know, that, that was too interesting. That chase was quite fascinating, and he seems like a, like a pretty cool guy, and he's got a lot to say. So she slinks away, and then comes back after a few nights. And this time, Spark was ready, and he told her off again. But then, as the nights go on, and the days go past, the seasons carry on, there is a, uh, an extra Spark. Because come on, Spark, you've got a you've got a really good name for puns between them. And now we're gonna go ahead and see what Mariah's cubs are gonna look like. Kitten puppies. The what on earth do you call a jaguar chihuahua? A jaguar? 
<laughs> All right, we're gonna see what our Jigawas look like uh, now, which is gonna be pretty interesting. And I hope you guys like their origin story. That's one of my favorite parts of doing our random genetics challenge because I make those stories up literally as I'm talking. There was no forethought of what these two were going to do when they met. I just kept going and something happened. And I'm really happy with the story that we created, unique unto them. So now, my friends, Mariah is very excited to introduce Spark to their little puppy cubs, Jigawas. Hmm. So let's go ahead and get to it. As usual, these crossbreeds are going to be some of you guys. So be sure to leave your comments in the comment section because they will be added in to our random comments generator. And you too might end up becoming a Jigawa. It's something I'm sure you'll wear with pride the rest of your lives. So let's do this. All right, okay, I'm kind of nervous. Are we going to end up with a like chihuahua the size of a jaguar or are we going to end up with a jaguar the size of a chihuahua? This could go in a lot of really concerning directions. <gasps> oh, you look just like Spark. Hello, little one. And this is actually going to be Florin. So thank you very much for your sweet comments, Florin. And sure enough, it does seem that we are doing our best to breed jaguars with as many animals as possible. Can't say that I complain about the results. Also, yeah, I mean, you're a jagawa, so I'm not going to question it. But Florin is a very active, adventurous little pup who also produces wool for some reason. We won't question it. Maybe there's some llama genes left over from last time. But all right, so Florin, we have no idea if Florin is going to stay small or if Florin is going to turn into a jaguar-sized chihuahua. We're going to have to see. Uh, but Florin does not have the spots. However, let me pull up the next name in the name list. Dun, dun, dun. Let's go ahead and see if this next baby is going to have spots or not. You guys ready? <gasps> we have spots! Oh, I'm so happy! You guys, welcome to Sloth! And Sloth, that is so friendly of you. Sloth says, I love watching you, Siri. You make quarantine so much better with your fun facts and hilarious breeds of canines and felines. To everybody who reads this comment, stay safe and healthy during this rough time. That is an excellent sentiment that I really do hope all of you guys will take to heart. Stay safe, stay healthy, wash your hands, social distance, all of that nonsense, and then sit back and relax as we are able to enjoy all of our adventures together and crossbreed who knows what. Who knows what kind of like absolutely wonky experiments we're going to get up to to get through this time. So keep the suggestions of different animals we could crossbreed coming. I definitely love them. All right, and now we're going to go ahead. Oh my gosh. This is so funny. I pulled up the next name, you guys. And once again, the random comments generator has a sense of humor because may I introduce you all to... Poe from J Script Chihuahua. So J Script Chihuahua asked for us to name a creature Poe after their Chow Frenchy Pug mix. And that is definitely a mix of crossbreeds that we might have to see one day. A Chow, a Frenchy, and a Pug. I am having a, like, I kind of wonder if it's just going to look like what you would get with a jo like Jaguar and a Chihuahua. All right, so we're going to go ahead and have little Poe. There we go. All right, so Poe. Yeah, good, good, good. Welcome. You cannot produce milk. I'm going to draw a line in the sand there. However, you are a vocal, independent, and aggressive little one. And I think that it's really funny that we actually got the random name from somebody whose username is literally Chihuahua. Because now you are literally a half-breed Chihuahua Jaguar. All right, let's go ahead and pick the next name. And now we actually have... Dun, 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 dun... Daisy! So welcome to Daisy, to the family. We'll have to see if you remain chihuahua sized or you turn into a jaguar. Very exciting to see. Daisy, you too cannot produce milk. I am, that's a custom trait that I have installed with some custom content for my cows. And look, I'm gonna draw some lines. You're not part cow, we're not doing this. Next. All right, you are a troublemaker who is adventurous and playful, which sounds like a wonderful mix. All right, let's pull up the next one. This is really exciting. I love this so much. <laughs> All right, and then we're going to go ahead and add in... Dun, 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 dun. Almost there. <gasps> Look at those ears! 
Oh my gosh, I think that Oakley here is going to be quite adorable. Oh my gosh. Okay. Oakley, welcome, welcome. And I think that actually adding in a whole bunch of sheep would be amazing. We definitely need to do more crossbreeds. I'm really getting into the mood to dive deep back into our lab. So like I said, guys, keep those suggestions coming and then we might have uh, even more of these mixing and matching of genes showing up. Especially if you guys could leave some likes on the video as well. That is one of the very important metrics that I use to figure out which of our new adventures to create. All right, so let's see. Adventurous, active, and a glutton. Something tells me that someone wants to escape from the backyard in search of some delicious snacks. Maybe some Scooby snacks, but you guys didn't hear me say that. <laughs> All right, and then finally, we are going to add in, are you guys ready for this? The sixth and final puppy. Dun, 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 dun. Aww. Look at those eyes! And this is Yammy! And Yammy has a good point that we should try a black jaguar and we should see what happens if we mix a jaguar and a cow. That is definitely a unique idea. I like that. Then we actually could have some of the babies produce dairy. Hmm. All right, Yami, you are an adventurous hunter who is vocal. So a little bit of your mom and a little bit of your dad mixed together perfectly. But now that we've got all of the traits, we have some of you guys and your sweet comments put in, and we have the coloration that we can expect from all these little ones. It's time to take some deep breaths. Let time pass in the garden and let these little ones grow up and potentially end up jaguar sized, chihuahua sized, or something very unique in between. So let's go ahead and see what happens. Florian, you're up first. <gasps> a chihuahua! Okay, so Florian just ended up looking like like puppy every mutt, basically, <laughs> that you would expect to see running around the city. No joke. Oh my gosh, I'm gonna have to send this picture to my wonderful cousins because this looks just like their dad, or their dog, not their dad. <laughs> Sorry, Uncle Joe. <laughs> um, <laughs> this looks just like their dog, Luke. Like, to a T. I, now I know that Luke is actually a jaguar and a chihuahua mixed together. You can actually see pictures of Luke in some, ex or like a video of him, in some of the extremely old update vlogs that I have back when I was just little Babu Siri. So you can definitely check those out if you guys are interested, because uh, it looks just like Luke. This is funny. I'm gonna have to share like a picture of Luke later because this is this is literally him. All right, now we are gonna have Sloth grow up. So are we going to get my wish for a chihuahua sized jaguar? Sloth, where are your traits? Sloth, there you go. You're vocal, friendly, and lazy. A little, or a little couch potato. All right, let's grow you up. <gasps> Look at you. Okay, jaguar sized with some chihuahua features, noted. Okay, the chihuahua face, basically. Well, the chihuahua jaw. We ended up with a normal face. I was really expecting gigantic eyes if we had a chihuahua, uh, like, head. But so far, we're doing good. Also, just have to say, kind of amazing that we have a jagarwa named Sloth, who is a couch potato. That's so perfect. All right, Poe, you're up next. All right, fingers crossed, guys. Think chihuahua-sized jaguar. <laughs> Oh, full size! Whoa! Whoa! The eyes are kind of pretty! We're getting some, like, pit bull sort of looks going on over here. I, I actually really like the eyes on this one. Poe, look at you! And you got a really long tail, too! Wow! Okay. Not what I was expecting, but I actually think that that's quite the impressive face. Very cool. Alright, Daisy. <laughs> Daisy! <laughs> Why are you so cute? Daisy grew up with just the tiniest little stub nose. Oh, she she's a very unique, adorable looking chihuahua. Oh my gosh. All right. Daisy, after you, there is Oakley, who definitely promises some interesting things with those ears. Oakley, what are you going to grow up into? Whoa. Okay, Oakley, we've got to randomize your tail. You're not allowed to have a dragon tail, but you can have a nice long tail. Oakley? I think you're the most unique one yet. I think it's kind of between Daisy with her tiny face and the really cool eyes on Poe. 
and Oakley. And unfortunately, none of this litter ended up being the tiny chihuahua-sized jaguar that I wanted. But that's all right, guys. I love hanging out with all of our puppies, and you just never know what kind of mix you're going to get. Also, Yummy, you're huge. <laughs> Is Yemi the first? Yeah, Yemi is actually the first of them who ended up being chihuahua colored but jaguar sized. And that means if we had a second litter with these ones, which we can totally do if you guys want to give it another try, we might actually end up with the jaguar sized chihuahua. Or the chihuahua, no wait, the chihuahua sized jaguar. There we go. <laughs> All right, well this actually was not nearly as wonky of a mix as I thought it would be, but it bodes well for future experimentation. So be sure to leave your comments, you guys, so that you can end up becoming one of the many experiments that we have here in the laboratory. And please, please, please pile on those suggestions for more things that we can mix and match to see exactly what their genetics might do. So thank you guys so much for joining me. Do please leave a like because it will quite seriously help our entire pixel biology adventure. And if you would like to join us on this and literally thousands more, do please consider subscribing. But most important, guys, stay curious. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye bye!